Alexa, play with the dog. If you're as lazy as I am, having an adolescent dog with all the energy in the world is a ton of fun for about two minutes. To make life even harder, once this little shithead gets the ball, a new game begins called Let's See If George Can Wrestle The Ball From Me, because just playing fetch is apparently far too easy. So what if I made a device to play with the dog aimed at lazy people like me? It'll play with the dog for as long as the electricity supply will last and be internet connected so that all I need to do to get started is to tell a home assistant like Alexa to do all the work for me. Now, I would have thought that after retrieving the ball, the dog would be smart enough to know that he can't play wrestle the ball off me with an inanimate object. Go get it. <laughs> with an inanimate object. However, if he isn't that smart, I'll also put in a little treat dispenser so that every so often he'll be given a treat for returning the ball. Leave a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe for more, and let's get started. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Head to PCBWay.com and get 10 PCBs for only $5 plus shipping. Use the link in the video description to get started and get $5 off your first order. The launch will be designed with a wide hopper at the top that the dog will be able to drop the ball into. Once a ball has been placed in, it'll be held in place by a solenoid that won't allow it to drop until electricity is applied. I'll add in a light sensor that will shine an infrared beam across the opening so when the beam is broken, we'll know to start the launch routine. I'll use another little hopper filled with treats and another solenoid to hold them back and then apply electricity for just a few hundred milliseconds to let some treats fall down to an opening in the side where the dog can get to them. After that we'll get the motor spinning and once it's up to speed we'll release the ball into the tube and it'll be launched forward. So I ran out of time on the build, but I did manage to get all the tubing done and the motor and the wheel mounted, which to be honest was the most important thing because with that done, it means that I can now test the whole system and just make sure that it can actually launch a ball before I carry on and add all the other electronics involved. So this is what I've got so far, essentially just everything that I needed mounted to the board for the ball throwing part of the device. Um, obviously the motor's on there. It's not great because it can it can spin around so I'll I'll make sure that that's sort of permanently held in with a grub screw or something and then the wheels then free to move um, it doesn't have the solenoid in the side yet but that would be something that I'd add so if we turn that on and then if I just grab that ball so whoop, obviously ball goes in the top and shoots out I had a chat with a friend who's a bit more knowledgeable about this kind of thing and he basically said that the, the tiny motor in that little wheel just doesn't have enough power to launch the ball anywhere. He said I need something that's a lot bigger and heavier that will spin a lot quicker that will then have enough momentum that can be transferred to the tennis ball to launch it like a sizable distance. So I was trying to think of what I could do that wouldn't cost a ton of money because I think buying like a, a three or four hundred watt motor is going to cost an absolute fortune. But he suggested going and buying a bench top grinder, which obviously has a big stone grinding wheel, which will spin quite quickly, have a ton of power behind it, and should be able to launch the ball quite far. So with the concept proven, I've now gone and closed this all up because obviously that grinding wheel is going to be horrendously dangerous for a dog to get near. So it being in a nice heavy box should keep him nice and safe because then obviously you can't get too close to it. The box itself is probably not the best thing I've ever made. Um, you can see a nice big gap there where the guy at being q didn't quite cut its size and I don't really have the equipment to fix it so it's fine. It's not exactly the end of the world certainly not the jankiest thing I've ever made um, and then you can see I've put in an infrared sensor and receiver which is that one there 
which will detect if there's a ball in the hopper and then you can see the solenoid mounted there which will pull back and let that ball release down so if we look into the hopper you can see it just poking out there out there and that's just enough to stop one of these little tennis balls that I've got and then I've also got a little servo here with a bit of cardboard attached to it so that I can put dog treats into that little tube um, that basically just moves out of the way just slightly enough to let a few out um, it's a bit like kaplunk sometimes none come out sometimes loads come out but it does the job um, and then they kind of appear there so if I just show you what that lo that looks like without dog treats in at the minute if I pop a ball in there the dog treats are released and then the solenoid is pulled back and the ball is released. I've actually written the software so the treats are released like once every three or four times the ball gets put in rather than every single time just so that the dog doesn't get really fat um, but for the demo I've got it every time just so that I can actually demo it so this time with some food in the hopper let's pop a ball in and then there you go just a little bit of food comes out and then the ball gets released. With the hardware pretty much finished, the only thing left to do now is to get the software up and running. And it does most of what it needs to do with regard to launching the ball and giving dog treats, but we need to get it connected to the internet so that it can respond to commands like Alexa, play with the dog. And we should be able to do this fairly easily because- Why don't you play with your own fucking dog? This should be fairly easy to do because I know there's already a ton of libraries out there that people have written that allow you to basically emulate smart home devices. So we could basically just set the device as like a light bulb or something and then remap Alexa play with the dog to Alexa turn on whatever light bulb it would be seen as and then it would still work correctly. So it should be fairly easy to do. And then once the command is, is received to turn on, it can then go into its routine of then checking to see if the ball's in the hopper and then launching it, giving a treat and so on and so forth. With the electronics sorted, I ordered some PCBs and a solder paste stencil from PCBWay.com. I got an instant quote online, uploaded my Gerber files and once my order was approved, I could track the entire process, even down to each stage of the PCB fabrication. The whole process was very easy, I had a load of choices over the PCB specification and after placing my order it only took a week for the PCBs to arrive here in the UK. I want to say a big thank you to the guys at PCBWay for sponsoring this video and a big thank you for their support that they've given me throughout this project which has been nothing but exceptional. Initially I needed to train the dog to understand exactly how this whole thing was going to work. That when he put the ball in the hopper he'd be given a treat and then the motor would start up and that it would launch the ball. He needed to know what noises are going to be made, that the fact that he didn't need to be scared of them and that more importantly a ball was about to shoot out the other end and to not get too close to it. But initially I decided to just start with the treat dispenser. So I got a ball put it in the hopper and showed him that a ball going in the hopper will give you a treat. After he got used to the treats getting dispensed, I then enabled the motor so that he could get accustomed to how the entire system would work. So I tried to train the dog that if he put the ball back in the hopper that he could essentially just keep playing with himself indefinitely, but it just didn't work. He just doesn't want to give the ball back. He's not really comprehending that the two and two are going together. He's aware of the fact that when the ball goes in the top, the wheel will spin and he knows it's going to launch it. Um, he also kind of stopped caring about the treats after a while, so I've just sort of sacked that off altogether. But for, he just doesn't want to drop the ball and give it back.
Alexa, play with the dog. So in the end, I couldn't make my ball launcher fully autonomous. And to be honest, it's because the dog I've designed this for just won't drop the ball on command. I think if I, could have, if I could have a dog that will drop balls on command, then I could train them how to drop a ball into the hopper. But in the space of time that I've got to train them how to use it, I just don't think it's gonna happen. He definitely learned that how it worked and that it would launch balls for him, but he just wouldn't retrieve the ball and bring it back. So it's like a semi-lazy ball launcher in the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.